I've returned from experimenting on animals in war torn Africa, Grandma. That's great, sweetie. I've just been here doing my crossword puzzle and sewing explosives into blankets. What? Grandma, what do you think you're doing smuggling stuff? You thought this was an old people's home? All these senile old folks are members of my old posse. Like we could ever give up the life. Age just means innocence in the eyes of those nurses. Give us those pills and think they can brainwash us. That's good. My grandma frustrates me so much. Ouch! My hip! Why, hello, Grandma. Um, I'm sorry about the accident. I should have told you about the, my powers about checking stuff and enlarging them. Well, the hospital trip wasn't all that bad. I mean, how long did they expect my hip to last in my line of work? Anyway, they replaced it with a new titanium hip, which is indestructible. Yes, madam, grandmother. I will not learn anything of these suspicious acts you're doing. Ah, I have learned that my elderly innocence makes people do whatever I say, and they don't question it. I am all powerful! I will control the universe! You know, Matilda, I feel really bad having a youngster like yourself doing all the dangerous work for the Ancient Wisdom Society. Just because I'm 94 doesn't mean you should underestimate me. I'm smart enough to know that the nurses don't check the weekly shipments of adult diapers. For anything. <laughs> <laughs> Bob. You will continue to give me the explosives, and you will trust me with the plans for the deviousness of the Ancient Wisdom Society. I will continue to give you your explosives to carry out your devious plans for the Ancient Wisdom Society. That's better. What are you doing in my knitting basket? Um, looking for stuff? Didn't I tell you you don't get into my knitting basket? Don't want to go to the deserted garbage dump and play with the rabbit dog? I'm not a kid anymore, Grandma. What you're doing is wrong. Serves you right for looking at my knitting basket. Take this! Look terrified. Oh no! The slow says. Oh, I knew we should have created these time bombs with more quality material. Melting down Eliza's dentures was a waste of time and energy. And now we're all gonna die. No, I'm too old to die! Oh my god, you weren't the grandma I thought you were. No, I'm not going to my room. That's enough, young man. You go to your room. Where? No, I'm not going to my room. Wait, that's not. Two, one, go. I guess the whole mind control and innocence thing is worn off. Ugh. Well, it was fun while it lasted. Something to cross off my bucket list. Um, Grandma, we should be more concerned about this bomb instead of. Your bucket list. I think I can um, shrink the bomb. That's great, kid. You go ahead and shrink those bombs. I'm shrinking them now.
At least I got you on the straight and narrow way, Grandma. One. I am too. Well, I guess from now on I'll go back to doing normal Grandma things, like playing high-stakes bridge games and cheating at crossword puzzles in the newspaper and baking those cookies that come out of the freezer. Well, that's a little relief, Grandma, but what about your organization of old people? <sighs> well, that organization was dying anyway. Quite literally dying. Old Bob it has to be going on 200 years old and say everyone repents on their deathbed, right? I think we're safe for now. Anyway, Ancient Wisdom Society was just the brainchild of severe boredom. Not all, all of us can take long naps before we die. I think I'm going to start knitting some real sweaters and scarves. Nothing wrong with making an honest living. And who wouldn't support an elderly lady trying to make her way in this world? Too true, Grandma.